today on Clegg's Adventures. You saw him, right? You saw him. He ran around there. I found something else in that screen right before I was about to throw it out. Look at this. It's just here. Oh, you ain't gonna believe this. I got something already. It's got a really nice bevel on it. Look at this. Welcome back to Clegg's Adventures. It's been a while. Been working a lot. Plus the river's been up. It's still a little high. But I've had some comments. People want me to do some straight sifting down at the river. Haven't done any straight sifting for a while. It's a nice day, not a cloud in the sky. It's supposed to be like 55. That's great digging weather on the river. If you're new to the channel, stay tuned because we never fail to find something cool down there and you never know what's going to pop up. The water is a little high, but that'll give us a better chance to sift up higher on the beach where we've been wanting to get. Sand's deep, but keep us warm digging. Let's get down there and let's get started, not waste any more time. Oh, you ain't gonna believe this. I got something already. Two things right in the first screen. Let's get over here and check it out. I haven't been over in this area for like two years sifting and this high water has gotten all the sand which is normally like 18 20 inches deep but you can't even hardly dig it down to like eight or nine inches this is all i've dug so far right here very first screen and i see two things in it come over and check this out look at this now i'm gonna put this camera over here and you tell me if you can see it See if you could pick both of these out. One of them you're going to see right away. This other one's, I'll give you a hint, it's black, so it's going to be hard to see. Can you see them? Here's the first one just here. Now this isn't very old. Maybe 1950s, 40s. That is a nice looking marble. Check this out. Look at that swirl. I'm no marble expert, but that's a nice marble right there. Very nice one. But look down in here. See if you can see it. I'm pointing you right at it. It's just here. Oh my God, be all there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a dark point. It's, oh man, look at this guy. He must have been working on a hillside. <laughs> it's all like crooked and stuff. He had to have like one arm shorter than the other one or something. That is a very nice one there. Great way to start the day. A marble and a point. Check it out. I'm not going to even try to guess the type of that. It's I can tell it's sharpened down a good bit. But it's funny how it's all on an angle like that. See if we can find something else. I'm gonna have this shook down all the way. Look at all this stuff in there. There might be something smaller in there. Let's put this over here on our bucket. In case we get something else, we'll just line them up here on the bucket. We got one point and one marble. Very good way to start the day right there. Let's get back at it. I had to turn the camera back on. I just turned it off. Look at this. Look over here, where I was digging. I don't know if you can see it. It's sticking out right there. It's another marble, another swirl. Oh, that's killer. It's like a blue and white. Very nice. There might be a whole jar of them busted in there. That would be cool. I've never found more than a few at a time. I don't get my hopes up. Let's get back at it. Okay, we took the screener and the shovel and we went up there a little ways, but there's not any really good places right now with the water a little bit high. But here's the places you want to look. I was telling you, these are the best places to look and we'll get this soon. I just want to check over there where we're at because we haven't been there for a couple years. Places like this right here. When the current's up, the water's moving this way, right? It's going down that way. All this stuff falls off the hill from the floods. It gets packed up against these bushes 
like right here this would be a good spot and we're gonna get right in there too if we got time in front of that bush but I know one thing the sand right here is extra deep so let's go back down here where we were days are short we got to get busy Oh, that sounds good. You ain't gonna believe this. I just sifted out the killer of killers right here. And a couple more marbles. You gotta see it. Now, I'm gonna scan this over. You see if you can see it because Oh my gosh, this is killer. Look at this. Scan this over, see if you see it. It's just right there, look. Holy smokes. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Very nice, made out of Flint Ridge Flint from Ohio. Central Ohio. Look at that. Oh, that's killer, guys. That is killer. Look at that. Oh, check it out. It's beveled. It's got a really nice bevel on it. Look at this. Very few bird points I've found with a bevel. Oh, my gosh. That's one of the finds of the year right here. Very nice one. Let's put it up here on our bucket. Oh, that's killer. Look at that. Now we got two points and two more. Well, wait a minute. We got two more marbles in here that I saw. Look here. Look at this. Here's one. It's all there. Another swirl. Orange, clear, and white. Oh, that is nice. That is very nice one. And look at this. Here's another one. This is an odd marble right here. It's like ceramic. I think it's ceramic marble. It's not even perfect round. It's kind of lumpy. Lumpy Rutherford. Look down in here. There's some more stuff in here. I see a lot of flint. Look at this. I thought this was a bottle at first, but then I looked at the bottom of it. I didn't think that's a base of a bottle, but it's kind of dimpled up in the middle, whatever that was, maybe some kind of a lens off of something. I don't know. And look down, here's more. We got this, there's, there's an old dump right in here. I found several old bottles just in this short stretch of beach right here, but here's an old piece of a plate or something. You can see the designs. I keep all that stuff. And there's more flint in here too. Here's some flint. You know, you can look around. I gotta shake this down more. Here's a flint. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's a blade. A little lancet blade. It's kind of a crude one. It's thick. But it would just been, been a little, uh, little quick knife. They knocked these off a core of flint. And they're all about like that. If you want to see some good lancet blade, check out, uh, what's his name? Flint Hunting Scandinavia. This guy finds some amazing lancets over there. Let's check his screen out some more. See if there's anything else in there. And then uh, we'll get back at it. I'm working this way. I started that way and I felt less stained. So I'm working back this way. Oh, there's a lot of flakes in this screen too. A lot of flint. Might have been like a, a native workshop up here on the hill. Wall got washed out. Okay, let's add this stuff to the bucket. We got our plate there. Lancet blade. Yeah, I thought that was a flake at first. And two more marbles. And that really old, like, ceramic marble. Very cool. So we're getting a nice little collection going here. We've got four marbles, two points, a blade, and a plate shard.
something back in there poking around. Probably something living up under there. There's a hole back there. I thought I saw something run into it. Might have been a groundhog. Groundhog. Okay, let's get back to sifting. We're getting in our heavy concentrated area right here. So I'm just gonna keep on bringing this way. Keep working on down. Seems to be getting more and more stuff. Let's set our bucket over here in the sun so we can see our stuff better. Yeah, kind of a disappointment on this one. Just a uh, broken blade or something. Right, we'll put it on the bucket anyways. Put our broken stuff down here. All right, let's get back at it. We're still going. We're still going across there. Right in there. And, uh... He just ran in that hole. Right up in there. I can see the hole. He ran in there and I seen him up through there. He must have went under that concrete piece. We'll catch him. We'll catch him on film here, sir. Hey, check this out. Here's an old bottle. Yeah, <laughs> you don't see those much anymore. Pepsi. Glass bottle. 1977. I'm not taking that. I just set it out of the way. I was just a young lad when that was made. All right, back at it. I got another point in here and two more marbles. There must have been a jar of them, like I say, busted in here. Look right here. Here's one nice marble. I don't know if that's a shooter or not. It's about a, I'm going to say it's probably a 5 8 marble, 5 8 inch maybe. And there's another one right here. Oh, this one's broken in half. Like a dark brown and white swirl. We got half of them. Look right here. I'm going to put these in my pocket. Look right here. Where is it? No, I can't even find it. Oh, right here. It's a bifurcate. It's a little bifurcated point. What I mean by that, it's got like a split base. Now, I don't know what that would have been. A bifurcated small point. It's a dark point. Maybe like a sharpened down, a really sharpened down Kanawa or something. I don't know now. It's hard to identify these sharpened down points. There's not much left of them. It's another one, another one for the collection. That's a good one. Check this screen over for anything else. Let me put this in my pocket. If you're running screens, make sure you uh, check them over well because we got uh, something else here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this one. It's just here. It's a hematite piece with some nice facets on it. Look at that. It's rubbed really flat right there. Rubbed all around, except this one side. And this is a type of iron ore, a hematite, and they rub this on uh, stones to make pigment and make paints out of. That's a nice one there. Very cool. But look at this, I think this is another marble maybe. It's a skull. <laughs> Check this out. It's a little skull. Made in China. That's really cool. I'm going to keep that. Man, we're doing good in this hole. These floodwaters do some good for artifact hunting. Here we get another point. Our bifurcated point. Hematite stone. Faceted. One each. Broken marble. A nice marble. I don't know if that's a shooter or not, but it's uh, bigger than the other ones. Better put our marbles down here. They're rolling away. And one skull. 
And we're getting a whole little collection of stuff here. Let's get back at it. I bet that goes all the way over through here. It just seems to get thicker and thicker the farther you go downstream here. I put the camera away. You ain't gonna believe this. I shook that screen down, just double check. We got another point. Now, it's kind of broken up, but I barely saw it. Look at this. It's just here. It's very, very sharp and down. You can see the base of it right there. But on the other side, it's uh, it's just shattered on the back. Well, we got a base. We got a base. We'll take that. Taking a little break. Check this out. Now, here comes a big barge down the river, right? Now, that thing is loaded down. It's way down. It's got coal to the max in it. It's way under the water. So when those things are empty, they stick way up above the water. And there's hardly any sticking up now. When these barges come by, it sucks this water down two, three inches. Wouldn't you think with the displacement of the barge going by that it would make the water rise? It doesn't, it sucks it out. I don't understand that. Somebody please explain that to me. Another scientific phenomenon. Let's get back to shoveling. This is why I built this sifter up on skids. You can set it in there. When a barge comes by and makes all these waves, you just keep throwing stuff in that sifts down by itself. Let's hurry up or we run out of waves. Ah, look at all the geese. Don't you poop on my head. You know when they fly in a uh, V formation like that? You ever notice how one side's a little bit longer than the other? You know why? There's an extra goose on that side. <laughs> we got another good screen. We got another good screen. This is the heartbreaker screen, I call this. Extreme heartbreaker screen. Look in here. We got another marble. Just one this time, but it is nice check that one out it's like a clear base with a white swirl in there check that out that is very nice that ain't the best now there's two in here but i can see that they're both broken a little bit the sun's going down i can't hardly get it in the screen for you to see it but look here can you see that we'll pick the most obvious one up first it's just here oh my gosh look at that that would have just been killer. It's a pentagonal knife. Look at that. It's all there, except the base snapped off right there. I see some blue streaks in there. I would say that's Coshocton Flint from Ohio. Big disappointment on that. Versus another one in here, look. Put this in my pocket look right here can you see that one this would have just been amazing look at that that would have been a nice one there's not much gone off the base just the bottom corner it looks like maybe a little tiny tip nick Oh, that's nice. That's nice, though. We're on them. We're on them. Oh, we're getting a whole collection going here. Another marble. That might be the best marble yet. Got this broken pentagonal knife. Oh, that just... What a disappointment on that. And this killer with the uh, corner snapped off the base here. Can't all be killers. You're getting a whole little collection going there. Let's get back at it. We're on the honey hole of honey holes right here. We got another one in the screen. Well, a couple things. And a couple more marbles. This one here, look at this. That one washed out on the shovel. I saw that on the shovel before I even threw it in the uh, sifter. It has been melted right there or something. Maybe they had it in the trash and burned it. I don't know. I'd say there's an old dump right here because I'm finding all kinds of stuff, glass and things like that. But look down in here. 
it's the sun's going down it's so low this part of the year it's hard to get a point where you can see it but look right here there's another marble it's like a red and white swirl on this one white base with a red swirl if anybody knows anything about these marbles how old they are leave a comment i'd like to know i don't know much about marbles i know a marble king but look right here now we'll pick up this broken one first it's uh bottom half of a little blade or something but it's snapped right there like i say he and all be killers all right here's the good one can you see it it's just here it's all there it's not the best material looks like kanawa black they like making stuff out of that kanawa black but uh it's kind of rough stuff kind of looks like it's just made out of a gritty hard stain but it's all there nice dart point sharpened down a little bit here we got two more marbles and a melted one and a broken blade and our whole point it's got a little red tip on it there it looks like now i can show you uh kind of an easy way that you can kind of tell a dart point which was thrown on a dart darts were like uh five six feet long and were thrown with an atlet or another stick about two feet long that hooked in the back and whipped it now when the bow came along they started making them points smaller they didn't need those darts and that atlet i'm sure it went by the wayside but i'll show you a little way here you can kind of tell a dart point from an arrow point this is a dart point this is small but it's still a dart point it's just been sharpened down this is an arrowhead point shot with a bow and a way you can tell is look at the distance between the notches see how wide that one is probably half inch or slightly over this one probably half inch all these are dark points there's probably a half inch but if you look at this arrow point made out of flint ridge look at the distance between the base the notch is in the base and it's a lot smaller maybe three eighths or so inch and that's how you can tell it went on a lot smaller shaft probably an arrow let's get back at it we got a couple hours left i found something else in that screen right before i was about to throw it out now it ain't nothing great or anything like that right here it's another hematite piece faceted very small but every side is faceted on this one they have worked that thing down to the nub see all those facets on there and there's a lot of iron in this one because it's really dark some of these will attract to a magnet but a lot of them won't you see in these screens this is basically what i'm digging through all this gravel these red fired sandstone pieces like this they were all fired and they were in a an indian encampment an ancient encampment but there's so many of them i mean that's a majority of the stuff i'm finding and digging through is those fired stones sandstones but there's so many of them and it's so thick Here's a large one that I got out, a large piece. And you can see how it's all red and fired. I'm thinking a lot of these were kilns that uh, had just crumbled to the ground over time because they had to have a kiln or some way to bake their pottery. So I would say most of these, or at least half of them, I would say are, are kilns from the later culture, like Adena cultures later in time when they started using pottery i don't know how far pottery goes back but i'm sure it didn't come along till later on let's get back to sifting we're still going across here you can see it doesn't look like you move much sand down here but it's kind of deep and it's getting deeper as we go this way but 
they're still concentrate so let's get back at it I got another one right on top an arrowhead well it's a dart point but this has got to be the best marble screen ever I see three and I don't even have it sifted down yet now this is what you're looking at this is what the screens are looking like before I throw anything out see all this fired sandstone that's mainly what we're digging out of here just throw all that stuff out but look right here that looks like a nice one right there let's pull it out of there look at that getting the sun oh nice one looks like it's just made out of a local chert that's been heat treated they will put this uh flint this chert underneath of their fire to heat it up it napped a lot easier that way it's not a bad one there but look here i see three marbles just before i even took anything out here's one down under here it's a dark and light blue swirl another nice marble and here's one over here now this one's got i don't know if that's been melted or just where the glass laid over when they were making it it's got a little void right there it's got like a milky clear base and blue patch very cool and there's one right here now this one's a little bit rougher it would have been nice it looks like it's had some melting to it also like a root beer white swirl i'm gonna shake this on down but i see some flint right here it looks like a work piece i don't know what that is it might be just a thinning flake or something but you can see where it's been uh worked across the top right there we'll shake this rest away down and see what else we got i probably just got the fullest screen ever in my life we picked those marbles out of there we had that point look right over here i didn't even see this one it's another marble oh it's another nice one white and blue another swirled marble very nice but you got to see this screen like i said well i just go ahead and say it you ain't gonna believe this right over here i thought this was a flake but it's not it's a little scraper you can see the edge right there i don't know if you can see it on this camera it's been worked right around there scraper blade and then right here you guessed it another faceted hematite piece and it's busted on the back but it's got a really nice facet and you can actually even see the iron in there that's a nice one but look at this look right there i can see the top of it it's another dart point very very nice very well made got a little tiny tip on the uh tip off the top there but you ain't gonna believe this look here now i picked this up already and looked at it because i couldn't believe how close these were right here is a little tiny sharpened down dart point but right beside of it which i thought was a flake i put it back just the way i saw it but it looked like a base here on the bottom but when you pick it up that's a definite point two points within two inches of each other now this one's uh sharpened way down and like i said before this might have been originally a dart point sharpened down by a later culture and maybe put on an arrow and used again found thousands of years later and used again this point here 
it's all on the front but when you flip it over it probably has struck something and just split it right down the center it's a half a point but we got one side of it and look right here here's a there's a fishing weight lead fishing weight but look at this it's just a preform I thought it was a knife blade but you can see that it was just a uh, flint stone right there is the cortex on the front and on the back they have found a thin piece of uh, flint stone and tried to just thin it down and make a point out of it doesn't look like we're too successful though we have our fishing weight four more marbles this time oh another whole point a scraper blade uh, this work piece we don't know what it is another hematite faceted piece and here's that half point that's shattered a little preform and our sharpened down dark point we're going to do one, a couple more screens probably the sun's getting low wish we had more time we'll definitely come back i forgot these there's a couple things i didn't show because i know you all get tired of seeing these hematite pieces but we got another one there with a nice facet and then this one it's really nice actually it's almost got that pyramid shape going on it's broken on the back and we got this uh flint ridge broken tip here off of something i gotta say it again you ain't gonna believe this you know that flint ridge bird point we found that killer a little bit ago we got another nice one you have got to see this this thing was staring me right in the face i don't know which is the find of the day or not but we got another nice one in here now i'm gonna scan this over you tell me if you see it you can't miss it now it's dark gray i'll give you a little hint can you see it it's just here oh my gosh look at this triangle oh it's one of the nicest ones i've found and it's got a little tiny it looks like the needle tip has just tipped off of it i'll put that needle tip back on there that is killer right there it's got a little tiny inclusion in the back look at that superbly made how do i know if that one or that pink flint ridge bird points to find of the day i'm gonna go with the bird point but i really like that wow we got like a whole artifact collection today look at this two superb points and several others and all these marbles what a day what a day we're starting to dry up now as we go across here farther and what's happening here is when you look at these beaches you see the sand we go straight across but underneath the ground it rolls like this and in the low places is where the artifacts gather with a stone there was so much stone right in there and artifacts it was crazy but uh we'll come back it's starting to dry up a little bit right here but i want to go on over and there's a couple places down there that i want to check too let's get back at it here i saw that animal it was a raccoon they're not supposed to be out in the day are they he was right around there you saw him right you saw him he ran around there he ran back behind that concrete piece 
We'll catch him. Where are you at, buddy? I'm coming around. Don't forget to subscribe now to Clegg's Adventures. We'll see you next time, real soon.